you know, when, when I listen to your stuff, I, I consider you more of a singer than a rapper. Right. I mean, what do you consider yourself? An artist. Okay, fair enough. So w- were you always kind of singing or were you rapping at one point? I mean, it, it, I always kind of did everything. I used to make the beats and everything. I did beats. Like anything with the music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at that time, you know, I really didn't have nobody who could sing or whatever. I, however I heard the music, I just did it how I heard it. And shit, I don't got five with it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they say that uh, necessity is the child of invention. You know what I mean? If you, yeah. you need something done. <laughs> yeah, do it yourself. <laughs> you got to go do it. No, you know, no one's around. You got no money to pay anybody. You exactly. got to go do it yourself. Exactly. Okay. So at what point did you hook up with, uh, with Lennon on the track? Um, it was a while ago because I actually met him through Slim. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, mean, I guess he, yeah, he has been doing it for a while. Yeah, for a minute. Okay, so you hooked up with London, and were you guys starting to work together back then, or did that come later? Yeah, we worked together. Well, first he was working with Slim. I kind of was. I just played my role. I played my position. I wasn't. It was all about trying to get bro through the roof, push him through the door to make an opportunity for me to come next. So I worked with him, but it was, you know, after, like, kind of, a little while after. Okay, but then you guys started working together again, and it seems like you guys got more serious that time. Yeah, crazy. We started going hard. Okay, and did Hardaway come out of that next next set of sessions? Oh no, nah, Hardaway. We just did. We just really did Hardaway. I mean, he he day one. He family. So we been working. You know what I'm saying for a minute. It's just uh, at first we was doing music with uh, you know Don um, Schooly. You know what I'm saying um, in London, like rich kid. You know what I'm saying. We were just doing our little thing. I just played my position. So it was deal. It just was um, Hardaway came when I buckled down like did what I'm finna do. You're working with London on the track. Like, at what point did Birdman start coming around? Um, I really couldn't give you a time. I just know, you know what I'm saying, him and my manager, June Jones, they did whatever they did, work they thing, and um, it's like it kind of, for me, anyway, it was like out the blue. Because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't there for that put together. I was still kind of in that phase of not, um, you know what I'm saying, taking it so serious. So I was kind of distant from everybody, really. Okay, because, I mean, London is real close to Young Thug. Mm-hmm. And Young Thug has been rolling with Birdman for a while, you know, mm-hmm. with the whole Rich Gang thing originally and mm-hmm. so forth. So it almost, you know, kind of made sense that it all happened, but you're saying it kind of happened behind the scenes for you? Yeah, for me, on my end, it was kind of like the work London put in, the work my manager June put in, it kind of just worked itself in. While they were doing what they were doing, I came to the studio one time, you know, just with London. He was doing his thing, working him, thug. Uh, a lot, it was a lot of folk. Bird was there, you know what I'm saying? So they was all just working and I was just there. And I guess, you know, from that, London and June probably like, hey man, this, woo, 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 check this out. Okay, so then you end up signing to Birdman? No, nah, I ain't signed. You're not? We still, no, we ain't signed. We still working on whatever the situation can be. Okay, but do you consider yourself Rich Gang? Yeah, that's family. Okay, so you're Rich Gang, but you're not signed to yeah. cash money or, or anything else like that? No. Okay, because you were actually in the room during that whole Breakfast Club situation. Yeah. Okay. So, when you walked in, did you expect any of that to happen? Nah, I really didn't, because I ain't know what was going on. I ain't never knew nothing about a breakfast club to that day. Okay, so it wasn't like Birdman was like, yo, when I come in here, like, I'm going <laughs> to wild out all these folks. Nah, or that else shit like that. just happened. It was like, oh, shit, what we finna do next? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, I mean, because that, I mean, that sort of became an iconic kind of thing, like the whole put some respect on my name. And- yeah. It got memed, it got this, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like it turned into into a whole yeah, thing. It, it like, was a big thing. That shit went viral. Went super viral. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, how many people were were you guys with when that happened? Like, like well, how big was the entourage on Birdman's side? Uh, I mean, it wasn't too big, you know what I'm saying? We was 
It was business. It was, we, I mean, me, Rollo, Bird. Um, it was. I mean, I really can't even tell you who all was there, man. It, we all fit in the room, so it wasn't just like too many. It wasn't too much. Okay, so so you guys were all in the room together, and then the whole situation, you know, started happening. Yeah, it's a, it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what what did you what did you feel at the time? Well, when he went off, I went in the go mode, like from the gate. I'm like, oh, okay, so who we finna slap? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you thought it was about to get violent? Yeah, that's what I'm used to. So, I mean, when you say certain shit, certain I mean, when you say certain shit, what else come after that? You know what I'm saying? So you're saying that if it didn't play out the way it did, it could have turned into a real messy situation. Yeah, I believe if um if everybody didn't have um un, you know understanding a level headed sense, yeah, it could have been some crazy. Okay. So so that whole situation happened. Mm-hmm. But then DJ Envy, who was in the room at the time, ended up kind of hooking up with you. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a real one. salute to DJ Envy, man. Right, right. So, and he ended up, I mean, because, okay, so so how did it happen? Did, did the DJ Envy thing happen first or the Birdman thing happen first? The Birdman thing happened first. And, um. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, of course, because you were, you were already there in the room with him. Okay, so yeah. go ahead. So, um, I did the song, like, right after that. So, that's what the whole, I was just in New York in the home looking for Charlemagne. That, that's where that whole line came from. So, it's like. I guess uh, Envy, he came to Atlanta, so I heard the record and was fucking with it, called my brother, and I was like, hell no, nah, that ain't, that, this shit ain't real, like, you know what I'm saying? The man calls your phone, he do know what I said, right? You know what well, I'm saying? What was the, I mean, I, I must have missed that, what was the Charlemagne line? Oh, I say, uh, I was just in New York in the home, looking for Charlemagne. Okay, and that's off what song? Hardaway. Oh, that's on Hardaway? Yeah. Oh, okay, I must have missed that part. My yeah, bad. a lot of okay. people don't know. I guess my slang or the way I'm talking, nobody knew what I was saying. Was I mean, obviously Charlemagne knew because he told me, say his shit clear. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> okay, so then you hooked up with Envy, mm-hmm. and then he took you to Commission Music. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, Made in Tokyo, Lil Dicky, 24 Hours, mm-hmm. and so forth. And, and you actually signed with them? Um, It's a situation we got. Um, with Envy and Commission and Hardaway. Okay. Yeah. So when you put together Hardaway, did you think anything of it or you was just another song and you just kept it moving? Yeah, I never thought nothing of it because, you know, I do so much music. So when I did it, I was working on like a project, actually. So it was like, this just another song we're going to throw on there. I ain't even think it to grab like this. Like It wasn't intended to grab like this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a dope song, man. I mean, I, I kind of like how you sort of flip the word into like different ways. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. You know, that. when you're like, I took the heart, like, it's like the, I took the harder way and then they took my heart away. And mm-hmm. Then the penny heart away with yeah. the magic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're, you're kind of using the double meanings on it. You got to uh, play with the words. That shit is definitely dope. And then London, London did the beat. Crazy. 